Hey all of you, hope you guys are good. So here we are where we left in the last video. So in the last video, we have covered about the update and delete method. In this video, we're going to refactor the entire code, okay? So let's start, okay? So first I will take a variable and I will call get, get all NFT, okay? And what I will do, this is going to be in a function. So I will simply select this one, okay? This is the one. And I will select till here, cut, simply cut it and paste here, okay? So that's the get all NFT we have stored as a variable and that's what we're going to call on this URL. So let's cut this one and come here and here we're going to call that variable. Okay, all NFTs. So let me repeat what we have done. We have stored our response in the variable and whenever someone will hit this route, we'll send this response. Okay, so let's come here and let's have a try. So what we're going to do is simply come back, save this one and we'll call it delete nft from the last video okay so that's looking fine this is the single this is the post and this is the get all nft okay so let's close all this existing one and now let's focus on the get all nfts okay so let, this is the get method and let's hit the request and here you can see it's working fine we have all together 11 nfts so this refactor is working fine so let's do this quickly to other functions as well. So we're going to take this, we'll call it, let's say create NFT. And we're going to simply cut this portion where it is. We have to simply cut this still here and we have to simply call the function here in the URL. Okay. Now let's do this to the get single NFT. We'll say get single NFT. And we're going to take this response, cut it here, and simply cut. And that's what we're going to call this get single NFT. Now, the same thing we have to do for the patch update NFT. And we have to select till here and we have to call it and simply pass update NFT. Now, the final one is delete NFT. Simply select all these code till here. And we'll call delete NFT. And now, okay, that's look good. You can see it's very readable. Now we'll come here and we're going to take close this one and we're going to copy this and keep all the route together. Okay, so let's bring it here. Let's close this one and copy this one as well. Cut. And that's we're going to paste it here. Update. Close this. That's let's format that properly. This one is for the single one, and that's what we're going to paste right here. Okay. So this is for the post and looking good. Cut this and we have to paste here. Okay, you it looks much better. You can see all the routes we have defined down, and we have all the function here. So anybody can read these codes and look nice as well. So you can the comment and it looks much better now. Okay. We should always refactor and make it very easy to read. Okay. And that's how we have refactor. And even we can refactor even, even further as well. You can see that for the get all NFTs and create NFT, this URL is getting repeated. For the same IDs, it's getting repeated. So we can even refactor this as well. So let's do that. So for that, what we're going to do is let's come down here. We'll take this. As you can see this one is this one is and this id is. so let's come around we can take a app we'll use this route right route and and that we have to define the root url okay the root urls so which one is the root url we have we have this one is the root url simply copy and paste here and we're going to call chaining method okay so we're going to call this get all nfts get and we go in pass the get all lft so the method and we have to call the functions same goes for the post and we have to the fall the create nft so this is equivalent to this two okay simply comment this it will work it will work you can see we have to write one time the url and we can use the two different function in the same url it will work same goes for the id so let's do that for the id as well and that we have to pass this entire id and we have to call all the functions all the methods so we'll have the get for getting single nft we have the delete so we have sorry patch for update nft and we have this delete nft delete for delete nft 
So that's looking perfect. So we are using all this method in a single route. Okay. Now we can simply comment out this. You can make the order properly. Simply comment this out. So I'm keeping this comment so you guys can have a reference. Okay. So that's how we have refactored our URL. It's looking much better now. If you come back here, make the request, it will work in the same way. If you try to create an FT, it will work in the same way. Make sure you to change the name. You can okay change the name and try to make the request. You can say it's successful. We have created. That's looking fine. Now make it dot dot. Let's hit enter and you can say it's also working fine. We have 12. Let's go to the second. Let's click on hit. It's also working fine. Let's change this to four. This one is also let's check the updating if we have this is the error validator is working fine now let's remove that one and let's click on update and it's saying update same goes for the delete if we try to delete five no data and working fine so we have successfully refactor the code okay so i hope it makes sense you guys can see that how readable it became okay and that's the approach we're going to follow throughout this entire api development so that's the only thing I want to cover about the refactoring in this video. In the next video, we're going to create the route for the users. Okay. And we're going to create the resources for the user. So let's move to that.